Hello, everyone, and welcome to NYC Health and Hospital Skins County YouTube podcast. In this season, we will be focusing on cardiology. My name is Ina Bukorovich, and I'm Chief of Cardiology and Director of Heart Health Center. Today, I'm here with Dr. Sabu Jan discussing nutrition and preventive cardiology in our practice. Thank you, Dr. Bukorovich. Um, Today we are going to discuss nutrition and preventive cardiology. Heart disease is still number one killer in the world and United States, and prevention plays a very important part in treatment of this disease. Dr. Bukharovic, I totally agree with that. Number one killer in America and all over the world is uh, heart disease. So it's so important to prevent if you can. The primary prevention is what we do to prevent the first episode on MI, heart attack. The secondary prevention is once the event has happened. So we are going to talk about the primary prevention, how we can prevent a heart attack, stroke and heart disease. So let's start with discussing what are the best and worst choices in terms of cholesterol, blood pressure control and weight optimization. The first important thing to control the blood pressure, the cholesterol and also heart disease is diet and exercise. According to 2019 American Heart Association guidelines, we recommend healthy lifestyle, exercise and the diet as the number one choice to prevent heart disease. So speaking about cholesterol, what would be the good and bad fats and where people should uh, put their attention to? So the bad cholesterol, the bad fat is saturated fat that we can get from a ghee, cheese, pizza, cookies, candies. Those food items, they have a bad fat that can clog up the coronary arteries and in the future can cause, and can, can cause a heart attack. The good fat, we get it uh, from unsaturated fat. Unsaturated fat is seen in olive oils and, uh, and peanuts. Uh, let's talk about high blood pressure. Hypertension is a called silent killer. So what would be the best diet choices in terms of controlling the blood pressure and keeping uh, it under control in people who are prone to high blood pressure? High blood pressure is considered as one of the reasons for heart disease and heart attack and a stroke. High blood pressure sometimes do not have any symptoms. Unless you routinely check, go and see a physician and check the blood pressure, sometimes we don't know that we have high blood pressure. Healthy lifestyle, exercise and reducing the salt intake is the first step to reduce the blood pressure. Uh, we advise DASH diet for lowering the blood pressure as, a, as an initial step, including exercise. So speaking about DASH diet, uh, how important is the sodium intake for people with high blood pressure? The average sodium intake in this country is very high, about four to five grams or more. We advise less than two grams of sodium a day to reduce the blood pressure. We have a lot of data and research to show that if you reduce the intake of sodium, it can bring down the blood pressure by seven to 10 millimeters of mercury, which is almost the same as the first line of drug treatment. Let's discuss now fiber. What are the benefits of uh, high fiber diets to control the optimal health health. High fiber is very important because we can avoid other foodstuffs like sugar, rice, which has refined carbohydrates. Refined carbohydrates can cause or increase the sugar, which can cause diabetes. To prevent diabetes or controlling the sugar is very important. So if you eat a lot of fibers, which, which, which includes fruits and vegetables. We can reduce the intake of refined sugars, cookies and candies, and also this bulk of, a fu uh, bulk of a fruits and vegetables, which contain high fibers, is very helpful to reduce diabetes in the future and also to prevent heart attack. Uh, absolutely agree with you, Dr. John. What about omega-3 fatty acids? Because they also play a very important role in heart health. Omega-3 fatty acids, in certain studies have shown that it will reduce the triglycerides and the triglycerides can also cause coronary artery disease. So even though there are no real data that shows that omega-3 fatty acids that can prevent a heart attack in large random controlled trials, but there are observational data that shows that it can reduce the triglyceride levels, thereby preventing a heart, heart attack. Dr. John, this has been a very um, useful and, and interesting discussion about the prevention and nutrition. What would be the three top tips that you would give to your patients listening to this podcast? Uh, that is an excellent question, Dr. Bukharovic. The three tips, controlling the blood pressure, 
controlling the diabetes, controlling the cholesterol will be the three key steps that I will say. How to do that is more important. I will advise diet and exercise for that initially and then if it's not controlled to medications. Diet we already discussed about that, the weight we discussed about that and also exercise. How to do exercise to reduce these risks. We advise 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week and 75 minutes of uh, strenuous exercise a week as part of heart health in addition to, uh, to diet. So these two components will be able to help reduce your blood pressure, will be able to reduce the diabetes and to control the cholesterol and prevent heart attack and stroke in the future. Thank you, Dr. John, for joining me today for this podcast. It's been an excellent discussion. And thank you, everyone who is listening for tuning in.